Hello, this is Mr. T-Mac. Um, I'm here to bring you uh, the spy tank. Once again, I uh, made some upgrades to this unit. Um, right off the back, there's a new camera in place in this unit uh, because the video quality in the dark was very poor. Um, in the previous videos, you probably noticed. Um, I also I still have the uh, rangefinder module. I haven't uh, programmed any functionality into that uh, as of yet. Um, uh, also, uh, changed out the motors to spur type of uh, gear motors, gear head motors, uh, to help uh, increase the speed a little bit uh, on this guy. Um, also, I wanted to give Arduino a try. I'm migrating migrate from uh, Base Micro, uh, which is the unit I had in place before. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Excellent to use. Uh, just wanted to try Arduino for changes um, to get used to that uh, uh, programming format. So, go ahead and open up and show you the particular board I've got for for this. So, so the video is a bit blurry. Um, it's not great, but um, as you can see, I have the. Uh, I've got the um, DF Robots um, Romy board, which is equivalent to um, an Arduino Uno, basically, but uh, it, has, it uh, pins everything out and has an additional motor speed control uh, built onto the board, as well as various buttons, which is what I'm not using. Uh, on top, I have the XP 2.4 uh, gigahertz shield. Um, as I said, the programming it's maybe it's it's the same chip that, that Arduino uses, so the pinout programming everything is the same. It's just on the uh, DF robots roaming board. So um, I have my analog inputs here, digital inputs on the other side, um, and I'm still interfaced with the uh, same remote system, which is pretty much my uh, universal remote. So. So that, it's pretty much that. Uh, show you that the uh, program is this basically the same. Well, it's, functionality is the same. Programming is totally different between the two systems. So, So we'll take it and drive it around in the dark and show you the improved quality of the video.
So as you can see, the video quality is uh, worlds better than what it was before. Um, that has a lot to do with the type of camera that I've used. Uh, so as you can see, it's a much more, much more smaller module. And of course, uh, with the addition of the LED lights, uh, before I had an array of six LEDs with the camera, and in this module, I can uh, the camera size I can do an array of 10, of course the light bar up front, and then the, the, the regular running lights. Uh, so, and that's of course controlled by my remote here. I can turn these lights on individually, based on whatever button I press. Or I can have them all running at any given time. Just whatever I feel like doing. So, um, Speed of the tank is decreased a little bit uh, with this uh, new board, just because I had uh, different drivers which was able to deliver the full voltage. Where this board isn't delivering the full voltage to the uh, to the motors. Of course, it's been for robot applications, so you don't want it running too fast. But I do. Um, as far as my video setup, set up with dual diversity, two receivers, and a dual diversity system. From range of video. Uh, just got that mounted to the back of this display. Of course, I can close it if I wanted to um, with the 3 cell LiPo. Um, I'll put in that video to my AppTap camera. Um, as far as range, you can pretty much get from one side of the house to the other with little to no dropout. Um, using the 5.8 gigahertz on the um, transmitter receiver module on the, uh, on the video, and of course my 2.4 gigahertz XB on the uh, remote. Uh, again, this is a universal remote. You'll see this control other things as, uh, as I pro progress. Uh, thank you for watching. Go ahead and vote, uh, subscribe, and thanks again.